Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt with Oli this week. And man, I am so jealous of the press trip that you went on. You saw the research center of Honda. That must be amazing. It was so amazing. I mean, this place is so huge. I mean, they develop everything there. They develop a car from A to Z. It's amazing to see what they're doing out there. Because a car is not just sheets of metal. When you buy it, you think about the price, you think how good looking that car is, but more and more does the manufacturer think about every security aspect of this car, but not only for the occupant, but also the people outside. Exactly. So Honda invited us to safety for everyone because they think that we need to protect everyone around us and inside the car also <laughs> <laughs> so what did you saw there that was more than amazing so the first thing that we saw there was the pedestrian test you don't think that you're going to hit someone and it's going to make a loud noise but when you see that there this head's going to bounce on the hood of the car. It's not a real head though. No, no, it's not a head, real <laughs> a head, dummy. actually. That's a dummy head, but it's so violent. I mean, you see this and you're like, whoa, you're not really testing that. That's not, that, that's not real. But actually it is. It is made to absorb the shot. So the pedestrian is not going to be injured. Because actually, when you get an impact with something or somebody, all that force, all that energy needs to dissipate somewhere, needs to go probably in the hood, in the kind of material they've been using to absorb it into some deformation. The car are all about that energy, that dissipation. Yeah, exactly. And we also saw the test for the legs because when you're going to hit someone, you're going to hit his leg also. And it's so violent, so fast in the front of the car. I mean, you don't take that you're going to hit someone at that speed but they are doing the test to absorb the shock and just made the car better for that bumpers all the designs so all the staff there is thinking more and more about the future also of those technology yeah. exactly like the wiper the wiper is going to break on the impact it's not going to remain intact just to absorb that energy any other test that you saw that was really impressive the sled test the sled test is just a sled that's going to be launched simulate an impact and you're going to see the airbags launching and absorbing the dummy's head the energy from the impact so the more data you gather the more it's important to analyze that to make sure that nobody got hurt but it's all about simulation but you cannot believe when you're buying a car that they did all those tests so how about the new technology where are we going from now so now we think before the impact so Honda is thinking to use camera from the traffic just to analyze the traffic and see what's coming in front of you if there's someone on a bicycle that's going to cut you. So just to give you the information before you have to react. Yeah, and that's more important than ever because everybody is at the red light is looking at their cell phone sometimes. So it's a real distraction. So if the camera can send some data to your car and make sure that you are warned earlier about a possibility of an impact that's a big and awesome game and how about communicating cars to cars that would be really easy to send some data to even the car of the competition so another improvement that Honda made was the new airbag so we're going to check Eric that's going to explain us how the new airbags working I'm Eric Heikamp I'm a technical leader here at Honda R&D Americas and I will explain to you the uh, uniqueness about this new passenger airbag. So a conventional or very traditional airbag is a single chamber design. This airbag itself is three chambers. So there's an, an inboard, a center chamber, and an outboard lobe. And connecting the two outboard lobes is a sail panel. And what's unique about that design is with the three chambers, we're able to efficiently use the volume and actually bring the outer chambers closer to the occupant connect that sail panel and bring that restraining surface closer to the occupant. This allows us to manage that crash energy earlier and reduce the total forces uh, that the occupant can see and we can reduce the probability of injury. The three chamber design was a joint patent with our supplier Autoleave and together with them we are offering uh, this to other OEMs uh, through that joint patent with them. 
real amazing technology. I really like the fact that you're gonna get your head in that little bubble out there and it's not gonna move. And I got into some scratch with my Hotor journalist life and every time my neck and my back was probably the first part where it hurts. But now with that new technology, it's gonna be impressive. So when are we gonna see that in the, on the vehicle? So we don't know exactly when it's coming, but they wanna start next year to put it in the new car. Oh, that's gonna be to see. So any other new stuff? Because some manufacturers already have standard, a lot of security feature in their car, and I can see that Honda don't have the full suite included in their brand new car. Well, Honda is uh, thinking about bringing Honda Sensing in every car standard by 2022. That's kind of late. Maybe it's late, but maybe we are going to see some new technology also coming. The evolution of the Honda Sensing system, why not? So let's say it's a research center. I see a lot of crash there on the video. Was that the car that you crashed, guys, just for you? Yeah, so they actually crashed a brand new Civic Coupe. As you can see here, it's not that fast. It was going 64 kilometers per hour. So that's really close to 40 miles per hour, but that's not really fast. That's not really fast, but actually the block here that you can see is not absorbing any energy. It's just crashing the car and it's crushing it really hard. Actually, in real life, you're going probably to hit something that's going to absorb a another car in front of you, yeah. a bumpers. So often it's not real solid and real hard. So now I see a lot of parts flying around and I see the occupants right there completely protected. Were they alive after the crash? Exactly, he's going to be alive as you can see. He's completely protected. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's gonna hurt. But the most important thing in that is Honda is choosing a lot of part with soft spots so it's going to absorb and just be there to reduce the impact on the driver and the passenger. So that's why today more and more even when you get a little impact you're secure. You will be able to get out of the car but it will cost a lot of money to change those part though. <laughs> exactly. So Ali, thank you so much for that little security trip that you did at the research center. I'm really jealous but the question now what you think is the most important security feature of your car? Write that in the comment section down there below. Do a thumbs up because you like that video. Subscribe. And yes, that's a bell. You need to get the notification to make sure that you're not going to miss anything on the Car Question channel. Otherwise, see you another time. And I'm really jealous. Maybe next time. <laughs>